back to day 16 of hashtag DIY DP May 24. Um, hello and welcome. If you are brand new here, welcome to my channel. I am a diamond painter, obviously. Um, and if you are coming back, welcome back. I'm getting good at doing this whole filming ahead thing. So it is actually Monday. This is the second video I filmed today for DIY DP, May 24. Um, I will do a quick explanation of what it is that we are doing for those people that are brand new. Um, we are doing a cross stitch conversion event. So basically, we have taken a cross stitch pattern and we are using either a printed out chart or um, an app like I am. I'm using Pattern Keeper and we are creating our own diamond paintings. I am using predominantly um, spare drills, but I do buy some drills in if I need to, especially if I need large amounts. Otherwise, I'd never get it finished. Um, so DIY DP is a month where we focus on working on, on our conversions because they do tend to be secondary canvases. Um, lots of us will work on normal diamond paintings the rest of the time. So it does mean that for that month, we do a little bit each day, hopefully, um, and we will take the time to spend it on on doing our conversions to get some real progress made so that's what it's all about it is run twice a year may and november so if you're brand new and you think oh this looks exciting um please do search for hashtag diy dp that will bring up all of the videos from the previous ones as well so we do it once in may and once in november so you do have the opportunity if you would like to try it to get the stuff that you need before november and then you could join us too there are prizes awarded at the end of this um event um we have main prizes for most drills laid highest percentage completed and then we have um, a main prize that is um, voted for the people that are taking part will vote for the person or the conversion that they like the most it's it's whoever they think should benefit from that prize now the prizes this year are a mixture again we have had um, kind offers from lisa's coloring corner and also from the wonderful betsy mccloyd who is yet again donating canvases if you are in the usa um so both of those are if you're in the states if you are in the uk or elsewhere in the world you will be given either um codes or um gift certificates to use on my shop or penny shop from the lovely cow sparkles um so yeah hopefully everybody will get the opportunity to uh, get something nice now there will be other little prizes as well myself and penny very often choose a teacher's pet um from amongst the people taking part um and i have been handing out some little giveaways as well on the live on friday um we had a set of the limited edition trays were won by amy um and we had a custom pen like the one i'm using um for the wonderful yesenia both of who guessed right during the live um the schedule so throughout the week monday penny will put a video up tuesday i will do a video wednesday it's penny again thursday it's myself again uh friday join us live 8 p.m bst 
um, where we will do the update figures. So that does mean that you need to let me have your figures by midnight BST on a Thursday. Um, so I will then update on what everybody's doing and how well they are doing, that sort of thing. Lots of good fun on the live. Join us to see how many trolls we get because that seems to be a thing now. Um, Saturday it will be Penny with a video and Sunday it's back to myself. And this will go on throughout the whole of May. Um, so yeah, plenty of opportunities. If you do not enjoy doing conversions, it's not your thing please just use the videos as normal whips and just whip along on whatever you're working on that sounds like a good idea why have i got that there that should be there try and do my thing right now what i don't do on these videos is i don't do comments um etc because it's just too difficult when i'm trying to follow this and talk at the same time so i don't do that on these videos it does however mean that at some point i will do a whip and i will catch up on all of those so it might take me a couple of videos so if i haven't done that recently and i haven't called your name out don't worry i will get around to it i promise so i hope you're okay it's another lovely day it's not as warm as it was at the weekend um but it is sunny so that's all you can hope for this time of year. I do have my cup of coffee. I am using the standard, the standard cook tray. Um, I am also using the mini cook tray as a, a trash drill collector, which is my, my new thing. <laughs> that's, that's what I do now. Um, I may have to twizzle the tape around in my pen because it doesn't seem to be very sticky. We'll see how I go. Other than that, I hope that you're all okay. Right, so I've done all of those. Why have they not? You see it does this and then... See if we do it again, see if it will update properly no don't worry about it um there is a glitch on pattern keeper so sometimes you will mark them off and they won't actually disappear on screen um when you go to select your next your next symbol i absolutely did that wrong then um they will mark off then so it is a bit glitchy. I do need to figure out if I can take any more stuff off this tablet to make it work better because I think that's why. It is an old tablet, not going to lie. So these three here. So if you are wondering why I am counting, obviously it's a blank gridded canvas that I'm working on. So this is showing me a chart of where those go. I tend to work on a three by three section, which is a total of 900 drills. You can see I've done over a thousand today already. Um, that is because I have already filmed and completed one section. Um, doesn't always happen but this is the thing I have now done over the weekend a whole week's worth because um, I did work on it yesterday until my tablet died that was my that was my goal it was like I'm just going to keep going until my tablet needs charging I then switched over to craft a big canvas and did two sections on that as well so quite a lot of diamond painting yesterday it was lovely and today i haven't got any orders to do because i did those on saturday so um why not 
but if I get the, these two videos done then I know I'm done until the weekend and I can concentrate on the other stuff that I've got going on this weekend um, just as a side note I do have stock in white grey and pink of the cook trays on Etsy right now um, and I will be launching the green ones at some point this month haven't decided yet when but um, production is ongoing so uh, yeah thought I might as well get that done wanted to talk a bit today about why I chose um, this particular project because um, I, I find it quite interesting when people tell me why they're drawn to something so for me it was a case of let me just come out and I'll be able to get a screen so here is the mock-up so this canvas I actually got from a seller on Etsy I can't remember the name of the seller I do apologize now it's actually labeled as the Lord of the Rings stained glass pattern but it isn't it's actually the story of the Hobbit so there are various reasons as to why I wanted to do this canvas number one I'm a massive Tolkien fan number two elves trolls dwarves wizards dragons all my favorite things i am a proper proper into that whole um folklore type thing i love the fact that it looks like a tapestry um it just reminds me of the bayou tra tapestry and it starts here with bilbo at his door and gandalf and then you've got all of the all of the dwarves and then they're attacking the trolls that came down and then it follows all the way through here through the mountains and then all the way through this is where Bilbo meets Gollum then through the forest and then we've got the fire where they're attacked by the walks and then the Goblin King and then you come all the way down here and then you've got the elves down here and then all the way up and um, to Smaug so there's Smaug there um, so I wanted the tapestry effect and I'm quite pleased because actually um, this is quite a pixelated design I have to say um, I do rate um, Heaven and Earth um, I think they are fabulous for the charts that they do. Um, for conversions especially, they are brilliant. Um, but in this instance, I actually did want 3047, just, just two of those. Let's get those quick. Um, so, yeah, it was a case of this is something that I want displayed on a wall. Um, so this one will go up at some point. I am doing it on four canvases. I have two canvases this size and then I have two smaller ones. Um, so I will then join them together because it's a lot easier to work on than having one big canvas. Um, and that's why I chose it. It is, I'm very into the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit and just in general, elves and stuff just in general. Um, so it was something I really wanted to do. I also have um, a couple of others. I have a massive one that is stored on this tablet for Rivendell um, or Inladris, depending on how you prefer to. It, it's beautiful, but it's huge. I am not ready to commit to a really big one right now. Um, I also have the um, Gates of Moria um, as well. Um, haven't looked at doing that one yet either. It is just it's just a, a, a topic that I really that I really really like. So um, at some point you may see 
others um, but for now we're working on this one and I'm quite happy with that um, I do have um, a couple from let me just get that one I do have a couple from no that's that one isn't it no that's right um, heaven and earth it is one of the key places that I go to look for charts plus they have sales on um, so the last time they had a sale I managed to get Amy Stewart's Mushroom Village oh it's so cute a lot of detail in that one um, but you never know what's going to stand between now and then so it could all change uh, so if you are competing how are you getting on are you doing better than you thought you were going to do? Are you doing less than you thought you were going to do? Because I've done less. Um, I took it away that first weekend thinking I'd get loads done because I did on holiday last year. But because I haven't got a decent table outside, because that went with the old caravan, um, I really struggled. So I literally did the two sections I needed to do to do videos. So it didn't go quite as well as I expected. It is going much better today, I have to say. Um, and that is helped because I did the orders on Saturday. So, yeah, it's all good. Right, I need to take a tray off the printer. So bear with me, I will be back. So that's that done. If you are new and you have no idea, then um, I have 3D printers that are printing the trays that I use. So um, that will be the noise that you can hear in the background. And trust me, when you get all three machines going, it's quite loud. So let's do that symbol. I'm literally, so this is the way that I'm working today. I'm picking out the symbols that I've got the fewest of. You know, because having the large areas of charting makes it easier it doesn't mean you won't make mistakes it just means that it is easier to plot where them smaller ones go there is no right or wrong way of doing this that was uh, stormy letting herself in my snug she likes to be in here with me she doesn't like to be on her own so nine times out of ten she wanders around until she gets comfy and then she just lays down there you go she just flopped i know i heard you making funny noises um beautiful day again and i have no idea what i'm doing for dinner Let's get rid of that. I haven't got a massively busy week this week. I have somebody in on Wednesday and somebody on Friday. Friday, I've actually got two people in. I have a, a mum and her daughter. Um, but they're both having gel polish, so not a really, not a really long appointment or anything. So that would be nice. Okay, let's do that. So, as I said, lots and lots of counting. It is so hard to do these videos every day because it's so hard to find something to talk about. Um, a lot of people were talking about obviously seeing the Aurora Borealis um, on Friday. Um, I missed it, didn't see it. Bit gutting, but there you go, not a problem. And once I've got this video done, then I can I can just sit and continue. I'm going to try and work on this as much as possible um, for the rest of today. Um, just because it gets me ahead a bit 
but we've got too many of those either so let's do that one and what I will do is I'll get all the smaller ones and what I will do is I will end up leaving the sections where you've got large numbers of drills because I can then fill them in quite quickly with a multiplacer so um, percentage sign is one of them or the divide sign actually not the percentage sign but 904 I do have some drills come in that I've ordered I do mix my drills like my spare drills I don't really worry too much about the shades I learned very much in um, mini secret door that actually as long as you're not too far out it will still work out all right and the majority of my greens actually went into that canvas and it's it's beautiful absolutely stunning did i keep 100 percent to the color code no i did not did it still work yes it did so that's the main thing and i would much rather use my spare drills than order drills in if i can however i've had to because of this event because what i can't afford to do is to be running out of drills while I'm doing the event. If I was just doing the canvas, if I was dotting along, I wouldn't worry so much because I will get those drills over time. Okay, so we've got one missing there. So I'm going to see if I can find... No, I haven't got one. So I'm going to have to find a dark one to put in there somewhere. Uh, let's go for 3371 because that's quite dark. I could, of course, just go and find what that drill is, but it's become a thing now <laughs> to, to just replace it with the first thing that I see. Okay, so then we are going, oh you bugger. I did say a while ago that my tape needs turning round. Maybe I should choose a different pen. Should I put a different pen on? The problem is, do I have another pen? I think they're all quite big multi places. Let's try this one. It is a nine, so a bit bigger than I actually need. But let's have a go. This is my my pastel pinks pen and that's the other thing you see if I can get these videos done then it means tomorrow um, I have got a, a free um, and it means that I can lovely it means that I can uh, get some pens made because um, I need to make some more pens. They do go quite quickly. Thank you so much as well, all of you that have put a review up on the Etsy shop as well. I really appreciate it. It really does help. And um, especially those of you that are trying the pens, because I'm very aware they are very handmade. You can tell they're handmade by the look of them. They're not gorgeous. Uh, my, this one's splitting a little bit. Um, but... Um, for what they are, that they, they do very well. I don't have anywhere near as many problems with my hands as I did have. Right, so let's get the 3371. So this is where... Now I may have to switch to my bonus tray, my XL tray. Because I've got this multi-placer in. Um, I call it my bonus tray because it isn't ready. That design is not ready to be released yet. I don't have enough stock of it. Um, and I am waiting for the logo because my daughter is doing that currently. Now, at the last conversation we had, she's almost there. So once we get the logo sorted, I will then start making the trays 
the XL tray and the XL is perfect if you are a multi-placer because it's bigger it's a slightly different model it's not exactly the same as these two but it works just as well if not better and actually if I'm not filming it is my go-to tray so I've done two two and then two and then one because I do like do like a big tray right they've all done so they should show up when I collect the next symbol and then we're coming down to this one so now we're starting to get some colors in it can get a little bit trickier on remembering where those drills go so that goes at the side of that one and then we've got three underneath come on let go Thank you. And then we've got two under there. And oh, that's upside down. One under there. So that's that section done. And then we come over to here. And we're starting down here. So we've got one. So I'm just using my finger to guide me. To where I need to be. And then we've got two up there. Not always the neatest. And then we've got two there. So I'm just working in this square. So um, yeah, by going square by square, she says, if my pen will release. So that's that square. Get off there. And then we come up this side. So two. Oh, it's only one, two, one. Just straighten those up. Oh God! Try to straighten them up a little bit. Two and one, and then another two, which go there. like so and then we've got one one and then one right on the top um you may notice um i don't use a a light pad but you may notice that you will have some gap in a lot of that is because of the mix of drills if you would like to do a conversion and not experience the gap in then it will then it will be better if you actually purchase all of your drills that you need for that conversion at the same time from the same company and that way you're not going to get the issues um me personally you don't notice the gap in when it's done anyway and actually i do want to use as many of my spare drills as i can because um a lot less wasteful like that and then we want two just there three right next to it and 
like that. And then hopefully we should be able to get those other colours in. I do have the school run to do today, although I do only have two weeks left now. Um, we've got this week and next week and then we're away for a few days. So it does mean that from next Saturday onwards, DIY DP will be coming to you live from the caravan so i'm not envisioning any problems with it but i will state that there may be a chance that i won't be able to do um i may not be able to do a live for the last day um, it does depend on where we go and what the internet is like, but I will make you all aware of that before we get there. You know, if I know that I'm not going to be able to go live, I will give you notice of that. Um, I'm hoping so. Most of the time I'm running off. I'm filming off my phone anyway. Um, but if we end up somewhere, because we do tend to go out of the way places quite a lot if we do end up going further afield and we don't have a stable internet signal then i will film it and i will go somewhere and upload it because that might be the answer to the issue nearly got that there we go i think actually this is quite new tape in this in this pen so let's give it a little bit of a prime just dabbing it on my clothes sometimes on your skin will also help probably need a few more drills in there to really i know i've nearly done but I do like to put in more than I actually need to get that, to get those lines. Oh, I only need one of those. Don't I? Yeah. No, you need that one. That's better. And then three. You see what I mean? Like literally jabbing my leg with my pen nib. It's not very comfortable, I have to say. And then that one goes in there. And those two in there that should be that for that symbol excellent what are we going to go for next let's go for this little star figure this little looks like a dandelion let me put that one in 704 because that is just a few I think 704 is one of the colours that I've ordered. I've literally just got this left and I need 2,000. So I've ordered a bag of 2,000 just to make sure I've got more than enough. So let's mark that one and that one. And then that one. And that one now the trick to this is to mark them as you go now I very often mark them off and then we'll just tick them all at the end when I've got the whole lot in that section done but it depends on where I am in that section if if I've only just started it then I tend to wait 
um, but if I've got a lot going on if it's a particularly confetti piece I will literally highlight them and mark them off as we go that's that done so next symbol we've got a few of those so let's get that so it's just picking out those those little bitty bits getting all of those in and then at the end you should end up with one symbol where one or two symbols possibly where you've got quite a lot and you can just fill it all in and especially that last color the last color is my favorite bit because you don't need to mark off as you're going you just fill in anything that's left love that okay that one do that I of course don't really enjoy being indoors when it's when the weather's nice so um, I am gonna have some lunch but I thought if I get my videos done first then I know I know that I'm ahead of time and I can what are we at yeah I think that's good enough so I'm going to call it quits there because I'm going to go and get some lunch. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. Please do help me out immensely by subscribing, liking, commenting and hitting that notification bell because I don't always have a schedule. I do at the moment because of DIY DP. Don't forget you've got those hashtags. If you'd like to see more of this sort of thing, um, pop into YouTube, hashtag DIY DP. It should bring it up for the last two years. Um, you can follow along with us if you like, use them as normal, um, normal with videos um i'll be back very very soon thank you to everyone who takes the time to support the channel it is very much appreciated um all of the details that you may need are in the description box below including my email address my etsy shop penny's etsy shop the cow sparkles facebook group which is amazing if you haven't joined that already please do um other than that i will be back soon it is as always over and out from this kitten up kitten Bye-bye.